making two videos at once, so I apologize to you guys. But the battery's out, battery tray's out, intake's out. And right now we're doing the wiring for the uh, PM4. But while that's out, we're using the same grommet to get the uh, USP ethanol harness. See, it'll go here into my sensor. Boom. So we did, we took the end of it, put it to a zip tie, the end of the wires. I'm going to slip that through there my my boost reference and my now power and ground for the pm4 are also going through the same grommet so hopefully this will just stick right in there and be able to pull it out the other side and i'll show you and then from there i'm just going to route it up into the rain tray across down around this and go boom and then the other side of the wires will wire to this guy which there seems to be more here than what there is on the other, so we'll go over that. Actually, I'm assuming black, white, red will be to the ethanol sensor itself, and then the blue this will and go gray to, will go to the P3 itself yeah. and be able to converse through this to the P3. Let's hope. You here, you can see where I push the zip tie in through the bay, and I should just be able to boom. Ethanol wires right on through. Shouldn't need them much further than this. And we'll pop this panel off real quick. That's where all the rest of the ethanol or the P3 stuff is. So, like I said, ethanol sensor stuff's coming through the grommet. I used the zip tie and just kind of poked around, shine a light here in the panel until I found the zip tie, pulled it on through. Now we get all the wires that we need up here. Those will get wired to these that the sensor will read and we'll, uh, We'll call it a day. Hell yeah. We still need to, I need to figure out how this is going to get power. I'm confused as if, whether if the P3 will power the gauge or if I'm going to have to like tap this into the fuse panel, which is behind this. So everything's there anyway. So we'll figure that out. So you saw we got it pulled through and in. So I routed it up, up a little bit and it took off all these little guys. Right here, they just spin counterclockwise, counterclockwise like a normal nut. Threw it across the back here, routed it across, down, and into the sensor. So it's kind of nice and hidden. See, now I got this extra connector here from the MPI. I'm gonna have to just kind of tuck this down and around somewhere. I wish I had, I need to do something to cover it because if the tuner ever does support flex fuel we'll, we'll want to utilize this so I want to keep it clean figure something out about that but that's how I routed it and we'll get to the wiring here shortly all right we're back it's a different day we are going to finish up this p3 um, ethanol hookup got a buddy on Instagram that just finishes up yesterday and uh, our theory of operation works it it does need its own power so you're gonna need to get like a fuse tap kit or just wire it to some other power the p3 gauge itself will not power the ethanol sensor so it needs its own power and it needs to be uh grounded on the chassis somewhere so so i got one of those so i went ahead and uh got all these set up so all of these will get their own i'm going to use these uh spade connectors that way if i got a troubleshoot i can pull them off real easy but see the all of these will get their own the red and black and this red and black will go in a connector together. So there'll be two reds in the one and two blacks in the one. And then I'll connect um, an, a spade end to the power and then put that into one of these fuses in here. I haven't figured out which one yet. But uh, so the two reds will connect together and go to power. And then the two blacks will do the same thing. I got some wire here. And I'll put a connector on that, and then uh, which I'm gonna call it on the end of that, and find a chassis ground. So I'm gonna go ahead. These little itty bitty red ones seem to fit perfectly, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and at least do these three, and then throw this in there, get those together, and I have to look up the, uh, the fuse box, see what comes on with ignition, and we'll go from there. Alright, so this is what we're working with. We put 
connectors on all the ends. The two, two blacks are together, two reds are together. Like I said, this red will go to a power in there. This black, I'll connect to another one and get it at ground. This is the signal wire. Gray goes to white on here. And then the blue and brown are already there on the P3 harness from the factory. So we'll plug those up and then uh, run our power on ground. All right, ladies and gents, I figured out where I want it. Boom. Get you a nice close up in there. It is fuse 17, even closer. Let me pull it out. I can't, see I gotta hold my light, so. Pull this baby out real quick, show you where it's going. You get that baby 10 amp that's not beside the five to the way left. And then you see that 7.5, it's going to the left of that and there'll be a space in between. It's for the instrument cluster. So, um, Put both, take the 10 amp fuse that's in there and then add one that will be for this. And I'll put a connector on the end of this, plug it in, plug it into the power that I brought over right here. And then I'll make a wire for the ground, maybe run that somewhere. So it might actually work that nut right there. We'll see. But uh, this should work for power. So that looks like it would make a decent chassis ground. Uh, it is metal. It goes all the way back. It is part of the frame. So I'm going to go with, it's probably, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not no electrical guru, but uh, I think it'd be a decent ground. So uh, the only connector that I have that's big enough for that nut, which is a 10 mil, um, it's way bigger than the wire size. So pulled the wire out, folded it across a few times, and I'll throw this end on it. Route that to there, clip her down, and then we'll uh, we'll code to P3 and see if it works. All right, ground in, power in. I'm gonna try and route this a little bit better so it sits a little more flush or something, but I did test fit the little cubby. Cubby does not hit that at all. You know, I wouldn't imagine it would. It sits lower than some of the other fuses, so, or more flush, I mean. So we'll get this pushed up and back, get the cubby in. Um, actually, no, we won't put the cubby in yet. Make sure none of these wires are touching. We'll code this, make sure it works, and then we'll wrap everything in electrical tape because you don't want any of these touching each other. And I'm gonna have to shove. It's a lot of things to shove in this small area, so we'll uh, we'll make sure it works. Which I don't even know. I don't have any ethanol in the tank, but you know, pump fuel could have up to 10%. So. Hopefully it reads somewhere around there that we know, the way we know it's working. So let me pull up the paperwork and we'll, we'll get the code in this P3. There is like no great angle for me to have it on a tripod and do this. Oh my God. Shout out to Lil Skies. So paperwork comes with it. You can kind of see here. Um, if you have the V2 gauge, this is the instruction for the V2. Instructions for the, uh, the three. Uh, it seems to be a lot easier for the three, but I believe I have the two. So I'm going to go through these instructions and uh, see what we can do here. So we'll go into the config menu. Yeah. So I'm not sure what happened. My gauge won't turn on at all now. I unplugged everything. Put the fuse back where it was before the adapter thing, and it won't turn on. So I'm gonna send an email to P3, see what happened. Maybe me giving it power was just enough to break it or something. I don't know, but I'm pretty upset now. Um, tried everything. <laughs> Not a happy camper. Got everything wired up, and then it fucking breaks. So I guess. I mean, if anything, I'll order the new. P3 V3 this is the V1 basically so I can get the upgraded one that doesn't have this stupid CTS etching on it but I guess we'll see all right guys we are back days later I got a new P3 gauge shout out to my boy Alan Guzman now this is actually an upgrade um, from my current one because that's the V1 this is the V3 it shows AFR and does more like 0 to 60, 60 to 100, and other stuff. Stuff I'll never use, other than AFR. That's nice, and then the connectors and stuff are a little bit different, a little more compact. Looking here, 
on the wiring, I don't see, it looks a little bit different. So I'm about to put connectors on the ends of these to run it and I might use a different fuse. And this time I'm gonna have the P3, I'm gonna have, well, have the battery terminal off. I think maybe I short circuited it somehow when I plugged it into the fuse. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pull this old one out, put this new one in, be good to go, hopefully. All right guys, so this is pretty simple to set up with the P3, V3. We go in, pass that, pass that. Um, analog one, ethanol control. There's um, other things it can be, but ethanol control is what you want for A1. Ethanol control is what you want for A2. Um, nothing else really retains to uh, ethanol stuff. So make sure everything did save. This one has AFR, so that's dope. Turn it off. At the tank, it works! So, I got everything uh, to their perspective colors like I showed you earlier. I thought it wasn't working, then I forgot I actually had to plug this in. And then uh, I thought it wasn't working again. I go up to the car and the sensor wasn't plugged in. But look at that. Ethanol content 8. And we'll see the fuel. I'll probably turn this off because I don't need two readings of it. That's the fuel temperature, which I don't really care about. So I'll probably turn that off. But nice. I'm so happy. Well, I'll go back to so many things. Ah. All right. Well, now you guys seen how to do it. All you need is that cable and the sensor from P3. You don't need that middle part from USP. I don't know why people are even selling that or what's the, the point of it really, but you saw it. You know, you got any comments, questions, concerns, let me know. Drop it down below. Hopefully you guys will be reading your ethanol soon. And hopefully I'll be getting retuned on ethanol here soon now that I got the PM4 in and this to uh, track the content. Very happy. Very, very happy camper. Sucks. I had to buy a new one for $350, but it works now. So anyway, forget to hit that like button and I'll catch you on the flip flop.